We've had a number of good years in agriculture recently. Yeah. And here in Nebraska, we certainly know that that's helped our economy substantially. And, and we've enjoyed the benefits of that, uh, especially uh, during the economic downturn that the rest of the world has been experiencing. For the benefit of the youth in the audience, uh, how, how long do you think that's going to last? Uh -huh. you know, it's, we have, we've enjoyed that. So what, what's your prediction for the future of agriculture from that perspective. All of us who have been uh, Secretary of Agriculture will run into people, and you've run into this question. Uh, Mike, what will the price of corn be in December? And it's, uh, <laughs> I always say, you know, if I knew, I'd be trading corn futures instead of uh, doing what I do. But uh, here's what I would say. I think the future is very bright. Uh, another thought for the young people, you know, I remember that pledge we used to say, I believe in the future of farming. I think it's now I believe in the future of agriculture. Um, on a very personal level, I love agriculture. I love big agriculture. I love small agriculture. <laughs> I love all sizes in between. It is a passion of mine. When I work on agricultural issues, I remember where I grew up. I remember the steady upbringing that I got from two wonderful parents. And all I would say to you is don't necessarily worry so much about whether you're going to make multi-millions of dollars. Do it because you love it, because it's your passion, and I promise you the rest of it will take care of itself. And besides that, it's kind of like my father always used to say, if you love what you're doing, if you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's so true. Um, just do what you love. And if you believe in it and love it, do it. Find your place, and uh, you're going to have a great life. Concur. Yeah. I, I, would, I, I just want, in addition to that, I would have to say that the, um, the fundamentals look very good. Yes, they so do. beyond having the passion, you still have to look at the economics and the realities and the fundamentals. And if I'm out there looking at things in the world that are going to be future-oriented things, I would certainly look at this industry because the fundamentals are outstanding. Quickly. Yeah. Uh, just a quick addition to that, and that is that you know agriculture is going to have it, uh, its ups and downs. It's never going to be a, a, a straight road up as uh, it looks like it might uh, be right at the moment. Uh, so we're going to have some adjustments as we go along. That's happened uh, uh, for the last 200 years in this country, and it's going to continue in the next 200. But I think what gives an advantage uh, to people uh, in Nebraska and the kinds of folks who are sitting in this audience tonight is we've got a work ethic and a value structure that's as, as, as good and as solid as, in, as you'll see anywhere in the world. And as long as that continues, and I see no reason why it shouldn't continue uh, forevermore, uh, Nebraska's gonna do just fine. Yeah. Jeff. I just, say amen. Go ahead, Jack. I amen to what they and, said, they're right. And, and Kansas too, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just not Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas, too. Oh, yeah.